which continues to pile up in some Colorado Springs neighborhoods tonight. Now, one frustrated man is taking matters into his own hands and confronted that company today. Last week, a Cardio investigation found it's been several weeks since GFL environmental customers had their trash and recycling picked up, even though they've paid for it. Cardio News Channel 13 investigative reporter Chelsea Brunsell was there today as one customer made a pretty bold statement. Why is it still called Best Way? Steve Bartley is tired of the wait. He's months. tried getting answers from GFL's Colorado Springs in corporate offices after months of sporadic trash pickup. Nobody's returning calls or not answering the phones. And we just need help. We need to know what to do. Do I put it out the next day? Do I maintain it in my garage again for another week? Uh, if you're leaving town, this is hard to do. So he uh, went to the business on notes. Thursday morning. I'm a customer. I just want to cancel my my my. He brought two bags of trash that GFL didn't pick up Wednesday, but the company apparently didn't want it. She gave me an address for the transfer station and said you can take it there, and that's when I denied that. I said no, I'm not going to do that. I'm tired of dealing with your trash because it's yours, not mine anymore, and I'm going to leave it here. And she says, well, you can't do that. Eventually, a man who wasn't happy with our cameras being there took the trash out of Bartley's truck. And he's not alone. Several residents in Rock Rimmon continue to have trash issues, too. Some even telling KRDO the company is asking them to leave cans out overnight in wildlife prone areas, which is a violation of city code. We left our can out because we didn't know if they were going to come late or if they were going to come the next day. They didn't give us any kind of notification whatsoever. My daughter and I had to pick up recycling to put back in our trash can because the raccoons had definitely been in it. Sheila Love doesn't think she should be paying full price for unreliable service. They are charging us if we forget to take our cans to the road. Um, I feel like we should be able to charge them when they don't pick up our cans. GFL Environmental told us last week it was having staffing and call center issues issues, but was working to fix the problems. The company also said it is working on creating an automated system which will email and call customers if a pickup is delayed or rescheduled, but did not say when it would be up and running. The promises are lip service to people like Bartley who say they've seen a lack of response and change from GFL. They have staffing issues. They have communication issues. Well, come on, folks, fix it. Fix it, you know. You are a nationwide Canadian company, corporation. You have the resources, and we're not seeing that happening. In Colorado Springs, Chelsea Brunsell, KRDO News Channel 13. Hmm, you worry about the bears, too. GFL Environmental did not respond to our request for comment today. If you're unable to get through by email or phone, another option is to do like he did, go to their office in Colorado Springs.